It's STEM day every day around here. So we're going to be building a circuit behind it. It combines physics and engineering. We believe that STEM is definitely the way of the future. This is our abstract model. This is Ohm's law. We're able to create a product with access to professional tools, machines, and programs. Not only are we making and thinking about products, but we're able to actually execute them. And it, it's these skills that'll help us make world-changing innovations. We have this student culture of problem solving, where kids really want to engage in work that they know is valuable and that aligns to real world circumstances. We're looking at ancient uh, and classical uh, architecture and trying to incorporate that into a more modern wonder as we're making these models right now. When the kids get to this tag end of their project, they're getting to really produce these awesome prototypes and then exhibit them to the community. We get to work with a lot of different people in our cohorts and we get some great communication in those projects and develop awesome soft skills. I think that the skills that we give them, you know, the ability to really speak well and to make themselves clear and then also to solve problems. How big it's going to be because of the structural like issues. Our cohort is made up of the science group, the history, engineering, and English. I think it's phenomenal to have students already engaged in collegiate level labs, collegiate level courses. My name is Amanda Cambrice. I'm with Pattern Energy. When we, we brought our industry members in, some of the questions that we asked them were, what do you want to see in your future workforce? And by and large, they would always say, you know what, we really do get a lot of smart people that come into our organization, but what we're not seeing is they don't know how to collaborate. They don't know how to work on a team. We're going to be building a circuit behind it so it can show LEDs. They don't know how to initiate an idea or take the lead and then work well together or even manage their time on a project. So project-based learning addresses all of those soft skills. So when they come in and they see our kids working on these dynamic projects, they get so excited because they're like, these kids are only in high school and this is how we want to see our young professionals working right now.